Hey y'all, so I'm out today doing a little bit of garden work because it's a gorgeous day. The wind is very nice. So I'm hoping that you can hear me because it's really blowing, but I'm just working on my grapevine here. So let me turn around and show you what's going on. following me for a while here back in Brooklyn you'll know that I planted a grapevine in a pot and that pot did make it here to New Jersey and it it made grapes last year it made grapes <laughs> Nicolette it grew grapes last year and I was so so excited to have my first harvest of grapes so now I'm just pruning it up to see how it's doing let me show you so here it is I thought that it was going to be dead we have a very serious um, spotted spotted lanternfly issue here in New Jersey now um, but what's happening is I've kind of started training it uh, when I first got it to do these two arms here because I was obviously assuming that we would be in Brooklyn and uh, using pots forever. And so I wanted to just have one stake, two arms, and then it kind of grow in sort of a tree formation. And I've just kind of continued that here, even though we do have the space for it. I just sort of loved what it was doing. So there are the two arms there. And as you can see, it comes out and then it starts shooting up here. And so what I've been doing is going in and checking for any dead so it can be pruned off. But you can also so see that there are buds so that's so exciting it's not dead it's alive and hopefully we'll get a great great harvest this year another thing you'll see this um, sort of tie here and that's just to sort of straighten out the trunk there um, and make sure that it's standing up um, for strength and just to make it easier for me to see what's going on I actually found this cattle panel um, fencing when I uh, was cleaning up this yard when we first moved in here. So it's literally just kind of like sitting butted up against this wall. This tree stump right there is just holding it up basically. And so, um, yeah, I just thought it would give it a good place for it to branch out. And because we, um, if you can see over here, we started fixing our fence last year and we cannot bring the PVC over here because of this retaining wall. So um, this just gave me a great idea to go ahead and sort of add fencing along this wall to sort of do a couple of vining plants. And this grape plant will be a good test for that. You can kind of see some honeysuckle from last year already climbing up there in the corner. So we'll see if I can do this one handed here, but just to show you what's going on here. I'm sorry about the wind y'all, I hope you can hear. So I just cut this off. As you can see, um, there are my two sort of leaders here and this was coming out through here. So I don't want two of them, I just wanna pick one and this top one was stronger and sturdier. So uh, this got the nicks. So now you can see there's a very clean and fine um, definition here. This actually points up, I cut the vine, but it does point up. Again, I just am trying to direct things to go in sort of like a straighter line. So this kind of comes out. I might actually end up just cutting this off. I don't know, I don't wanna sacrifice grapes. That's a bit, that's a bit better. I might leave this for this year just because I know it has buds on it. But I don't know, you just, I'll, I'll come out and show you the other one. I don't know, no, I'm gonna cut it. Here it comes out and then goes up, right? Same over here, out and then up, healthy, right? This comes out and then gets a little spindly and goes sideways and that's absolutely not what I want. I want it to go up. So I think what I'm gonna end up doing is just cutting a bit of the top off here and then seeing if I can redirect it up like that. And this is now exposed, so I'll just have to keep my eye on that, but it should be fine. And again, this one comes out and then goes up, so that's great. Another one that gets a little wild, so I think I'll go ahead and cut that off. You can see this was new growth from last year, but it's just not going in the direction that I want it to go in, so we'll go ahead and get rid of it. So this is about all I removed. It is still pretty young. The plant I think is about three years old at this point or four years old at this point, but you can see now it does have nice 
clean, defined lines that I can follow and um, keep up during the season. I would definitely say this side is going much better than that side, <laughs> but um, that side is a little hard to get to throughout the season because of the stumps and this is somewhat of a garden bed at this point. So, And I do have to hand water that grape container all season long, so that's fun, um, lugging water all the way over there, <laughs> but it's totally worth it. The grape harvest last year was delicious um, and I'm really looking forward uh, to having another great harvest. You can see some blueberries behind me there that just got a prune as well. So um, sorry, a truck just drove by and then I looked down and saw a bunch of seeds on the ground just in my garden. Isn't that crazy? These are the Scarlet Runner beans. I guess I must, I must have missed beans at some point last year. These are just sitting on the ground in my garden. Okay, that's how you know, this is just real life gardening right here in my backyard. Happy gardening, y'all. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.